हेलो एवरीबडी आय एम डॉक्टर सचिन कोटूर कन्सलटंट रेडिएशन ऑंकॉलॉजिस्ट ॲट मलनाड हॉस्पिटल अँड इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ ऑंकॉलॉजी शिवमोगा कर्नाटका टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट स्टिरोटॅक्टिक रेडिएशन सो स्टिरोटॅक्टिक वॉट इज रेड स्टिरोटॅक्टिक रेडिएशन स्टिरोटॅक्टिक रेडिएशन इज ए हायली ॲडवान्स्ड प्रिसाईज रेडिएशन टेक्नॉलॉजी which is used to treat the benign brain tumors and brain metastasis and there is another variant of uh, stereotactic radiotherapy that is sbrt stereotactic body radiotherapy which is used to treat the other tumors uh, like liver and lungs so now let us start with the brain tumors the brain tumors see there are many benign brain tumors where we previously it is an alter stereotactic radiation is an alternative to the radio surgery that's why the name comes stereotactic radiation surgery here there is no incision no surgery but the results are at par with the uh, surgery so now let us so it has it is a, a, there are various types of technologies so one is a linear accelerator based uh, stereotactic radiation other one is cyber knife therapy and gamma knife therapy so all these will have the only the techniques are different all will fetch uh, you the stereotactic radiation so what we have here is the stereotactic radiation linear based so this versa hd the this machine is highly advanced machine with uh, advanced like uh, added the technologies with uh, the hexafold uh, table where we can have six uh, types of uh, table movements and also we have infrared camera so to position the patient so these all are very much essential in treating radiation uh, stereotactic radiation so what all are the common indications one is a brain uh, brain metastasis then various benign t- tumors like uh, uh, meningiomas uh, then acoustic schwannoma many other uh, benign tumors are there like avms so what we do is here we give a very high dose usually in one or five sittings so that depends on uh, cases which one to give one fraction or five fractions the tumor needs to be very small usually it should be uh, less than 3 cm and what we do is we give uh, deliver a uh, radiation precisely to the uh, t- the tumor so the, for that uh, what we the various uh, things uh, steps in all this first usually there will be a consultation uh, in the room with the patient where we explain to the patient all the procedures involved and whatever their doubts their patients uh, will have we give a thorough this is a very important part of the uh, to the patient so patients will be in this especially in this uh, technique uh, we need to tell the patients about how the steps so because the patient's cooperation is very important and uh, patient uh, about the cost of the treatment and the side effects also uh, needs to be explained and afterwards the consultation patient will undergo ct simulation so in ct simulation unlike any conventional radiation here what we do is we use a very uh, advanced uh, immobilization techniques so there are many we have got many choices like double layered uh, uh, orbit cast and the ring that there are in sbrt there is a wack lock so we use any it is a choice of the consultant so with this uh, immobilization which is done in the mold room using uh, the overhead uh, lasers patient patient is positioned uh, and then the fiducial markers to uh, find the are uh, used and then the orbit is uh, customized to the patient's body head shape then afterwards patient will uh, after the mold preparation patient is taken to the ct simulation and the ct uh, along with the mask the ct scan is done uh, the usually we take 1 mm cuts and afterwards these ct images are pushed to the planning room and the in the planning room 
we have the uh, physicist who will uh, do the help in uh, planning the case so we do the planning along with the assistance of dedicated uh, treatment planning system so with this uh, this is a computer software we give we give the input whatever we we uh, we follow the international guidelines what is the uh, dose to be given what are the constraints to be given to the adjacent uh, vital structures so with this input given by the consultant the uh, so commands are given to the uh, planning system and the uh, physicist will assist in achieving the goals once goals are achieved so then the consultant will evaluate the plan so if all goals are reached then the, the patient the plan is okayed and this plan once it is okayed will be pushed to the the console room of the treatment room so in the console room what happens this uh, the, the patient will be uh, this plan will be pushed and this plan will be converted in the at the console to, uh, it will be converted into treatment mode so once the patient the same patient will be uh, put in the same position and uh, afterward the, we take a image uh, the cone beam image so it is very important then after cone beam image we do the image registration so we uh, the what was uh, the planning image and the treatment image when patient on couch both have been uh, we blend both the images and find out any difference uh, in the xyz axis of, so accordingly and along with the here one more added thing in this uh, srs technique is the hexapod table we use so in what is the hexapod table uh, technology is see we have the wall mounted uh, inf infrared cameras they know the po exact uh, uh, position of the table uh, along with the patient so it gives other three additional uh, coordinates so these three coordinates like any oblique movements are there which will be captured by this technology and so along with the table three table movements under three oblique movements also can be corrected so this will give a precision so once this is achieved if any difference is there with the planned image and the treatment image so that correction difference will be corrected and remotely and we treat uh, give a treatment command and once treatment command is given patient usually the treatment will take around 10 to 15 minutes in most of the cases so then afterwards patient will be released